Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today uh, we're going to be going over the Dawn Power Wash uh, Leopard Print Two Tone. So it's a uh, a lot of a lot of steps in this, and a lot of different materials used in this. Um, but I hope you enjoy. Let's get to it. Hi guys, as you can tell, I've already prepped my tumbler and it's a 30 ounce Maker Flow. And I had already spray painted, I uh, used gold for the top and for the bottom, I used espresso. And as I'm rubbing the epoxy on, I'm going to use a little bit thicker coat than usual because I will be laying down chunky glitters first. When I work on an ombre, I've, and if I have chunky and fine both, I always start with the chunky first, and then I'll lay the fine on top of that. I use KS Resin Liquidy Split on this tumbler for this particular layer. This one does not have any UV inhibitors in it. And as you can see, I'm starting to lay down the chunky uh, brown. It's called Steve by... Uh, PCG, Pop Culture Glitter. Um, here I'm applying Gold Rush, and it's a chunky mix as well. So you can notice I have the cup tilted while I'm uh, applying the glitter, and that's so it can gradually fall. Now, when I go around the top and the bottom, I, I, I don't worry about having it slanted then. That way I can get a good coat. But then I tilt the cup as I apply the glitter. And you can see how it just gradually falls, making it uh, blend together nicely. After I finish with... Uh, I'm applying some more Steve to blend better in with the Gold Rush. Just tapping very, very slightly. And then once I finish with that, I'm going to start and go in with the fine glitters. Here I'm going in with Bronze Brilliance by uh, Glitter Craze. And I'm just uh, kind of going in heavy there towards the bottom, but as I start going up at the towards uh, the middle of the cup, I'm a little bit lighter handed with it. And once I finish that, then I'm going to apply my gold, which would be Starcraft. Now here I'm applying the fine gold, which is Beach Blonde by Starcraft. And uh, I'm just going to keep going back and forth until I get a good blend that I like. Once you have that perfect ombre, you can go ahead and add your coats of epoxy. I always use my finger to press down just to tap down any of the chunky that happens to be sticking up. That way uh, we can get as smooth a coat as possible with our first coat of epoxy.
you can see I cut out my uh, fuzzy leopard spots with uh, stencil vinyl. I'm just applying those stencil vinyl pieces in any kind of random spots. I want to cover the whole cup and uh, once I get a desired look that, that I like, then uh, I'll take it outside and we'll spray paint it. I do the opposite, like the gold will have uh, the brown and then where the dark brown is will be the lighter brown. I, th I believe I use nutmeg and espresso. So espresso will go on the top and nutmeg will go on the bottom once we finish this. And let me tell you, it takes a while to fully cover the cup. I don't know why, but I like doing it by hand. I don't like just using uh, contact tape and, and applying it in groups. I like just manually putting them myself. I don't, I don't know why. Sometimes I, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I will actually use transfer tape and uh, apply big sections. But most of the time I do it like this right here. <laughs> I don't know something about about just being able to put things the way I, I want them now once we get all the spots on and I spray painted uh, the top with espresso and I spray painted the bottom with nutmeg you can see I got a pretty decent ombre look and then we're gonna peel all of those leopard spots off once the paint dries and then we'll get a good uh, coat of epoxy on top of that
Hi guys, uh, I forgot to record why I was doing my Dawn Power Wash, but uh, I used three different colors. I started off with the black, and then I moved on to the metallic copper, and then I moved on to the white. And in between each color, I uh, just patted it dry and started with the next color. So now I'm just gonna clean this up. I added a clip because I did miss the power wash, but so I added a clip of me doing a triple color power wash with a different cup, just so you can kind of see how the process is. Now, as far as coverage, you just kind of do what, what you think you would like how it to look best. Now this one, it was a smaller mug, so I did it a little bit differently. I didn't use as much spray or coverage as much. And same way with the leopard spot one. You're going to want lighter coverage, so you're actually going to be able to see the spots underneath. And you just kind of go back and forth. I think towards the end of this one, I did go over it with the black again, just to give a little bit more black to show. And I think I did that on this leopard one as well. Now, as far as the power wash, you're just kind of going to do how, how you think it'll look best. I always start with the darker colors first and end with the lighter color. I'm just going to use some uh, alcohol and then some acetone. So the acetone uh, mainly uh, gets rid of the majority of it and then the alcohol cleans it up better. So you see like the little splatters, I, I, I don't want those. And then we'll use the alcohol to shine it all up. And I just kind of go in between. 
like I'm trying to get the white off there, but I want to kind of keep the black. You know, you just kind of do it to however you want or what uh, you like best. I mean, you don't even really have to do anything. I just kind of like uh, cleaning it up a little bit better so you can see more sparkle from the glitter on some of the spots. But like this metallic, I'm probably going to leave it there. Got too much black on that. I'm going to have to dip it some more. going with the alcohol so I, I don't want like a lot of it to go away and the alcohol you got to rub a little harder so take off some of this metallic let some of the black show a little bit better and I just keep going until I got it to where I like it I really like the shimmer that the copper gives. It's kind of subtle because it matches, goes in with the brown. And I like the deep color of the black. Now I may have to like re like light spray over this to uh, be able to put the image on I don't want any of this to show through the image because I'm going to print it out on a white uh, on a clear water slide probably here I, I 
don't know, uh, I want to make sure that it doesn't show through. So you see how it's kind of discolored a little bit. And then of course with the, from the power wash, it's got the little holes. So we'll just go over that uh, with a light spray to make sure that it's completely white before we put our image on. I love the look of the Dawn Power Wash. This has been a real popular cup for me here lately. I made myself one and it and it kind of stemmed from there. I like that. So this is what it's finished. And then like I said, I'm just going to do a couple of spritz here and probably a spritz here. And uh, then we'll be good to go. I'm going to throw a coat of uh, epoxy on this after I do those spritz. we got uh, decals and a water slide we're going to be putting on this tumbler and you see how it looks after the epoxy I did that little spritz on both of those little sides and uh, you can't see I did have to go over it and clean up a little bit more after I did those couple spritz but uh, that's just to uh, make it a little thicker on those areas This is just going on the bottom.
This is what happens when you don't clean your area. You can't find nothing. <laughs> I'm terrible about putting stuff putting stuff away and I don't know why, but I, I like always just placing my uh, layers on top of one another. I like to hand place them myself. This is just how I like to do it. You can always, you know, do what you like doing best. Almost think I should have did my offset a little bit bigger.
All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I know there was a lot of steps, and, uh, you know, I try to cut out some things to shorten the videos, but if you want to see the whole thing, uh, you know, comment below. Let me know, you know, because I'm doing this for your benefit and uh, making the videos to help you. So uh, if you want to see more of something, just uh, drop a comment in the in the bottom there so I know. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, ring the bell if you want to be notified for new content. Thanks and have a great day.